What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from Panini. And this is going to be 2022 Select. And probably one of my top three Panini releases every year. It's a really, really fun set. One of the good things about it, it's actually went down in price a good bit down to where it should be. I think they're around $145 a box. Compared to last year and the year before, they were $200 or more. Mr. Tatis on the front, and you can see we're going to have two autographs and two memorabilia cards, and there's some very gorgeous looking cards. Five cards in a pack. We're going to have 12 packs in this box. And they do have Panini's real uh, good about the rare inserts, and so we're going to be trying to look for the color wheel, color wheel ultra rare insert. Three hollows, some tricolors. Odds don't really do you nothing with them. And that is pretty much it, y'all. A very fun set. They got different levels or tiers, I should say, with the base set. The premier level, diamond level being the most, uh, the rarest one, I should say. But overall... Not a bad set at all, and especially now for the price. You really can't beat the price point. And like I say, man, the values of Panini has really, really went up. It's not like it used to be. I think that might be a relic. I'm just going to open them up and see what we get. And here we go, y'all. 2022 Panini Select. And I will say, you know, it's a pretty similar design from year to year. It almost looks the same as last year. Hey, you can see me. Smile for the camera. Mr. Evan Longoria having a pretty decent year this year. And you can look on the back. Where does it tell you at? The concourse level here. And kind of probably from 1 through 60 will be the concourse and so on. Then you'll have the premier level. And they'll have a little bit different design to them. Enrique Hernandez, Mr. Corey Seeger. Looks like we got a tricolor of Yunjin Ryu. Prism Premier level, as you can see at the top. And it's got a little bit different design. And the Sandy Koufax. And I guess that's a uh, insert this year. All right, moving along. And it's got that real, real nice shine to it. Real nice sheen to them. Got a prism coming up. Mr. Lou Bob. There he is, Shoei Otani. Look at old Raleigh Fingers, man. I like how they add some of them throwback. First rookie of the break, Matt Brash. And our prism is going to be a Harrison Bader. Concourse level. Autograph checklist is big, and it usually is with all Panini stuff. And the reason for that is because you usually get a lot more autographs, you know, with Panini stuff. So they do, in turn, have to increase the uh, autograph subjects. But there is some really nice autos you can pull from this set. There's a Seth Beer rookie. We'll take him. We got our first color coming up, Mr. Bumgarner. It is a rookie card, Jose Siri for the Astros. I've actually pulled this guy pretty heavily this year. And that is number 35 of 35, last off the assembly line. We'll take it, PC card. Still looking for our first hit. Another refractor, or prism, I should say, coming up. Matthews, Hendrick. There he is again, Jose Siri. Ichiro. And Ryan Zimmerman. I believe that's going to be the diamond level. And you can see it down on the bottom, diamond level. Card number 254. You only get one, maybe two of these per box. Very nice looking design. Y'all let me know what y'all think of uh, Select this year. Curious to hear y'all's thoughts on it. 
Connor Wong, rookie. Reese Hoskins, Miggy Cabrera. Trey Turner, and our next tricolor is Mad Manning for the Detroit Tigers. And I don't know if that's a tricolor or not, because that one's actually numbered out of 199. But it looks real similar to that other one I got. Unless that Ryu was a number, I didn't think it was. No. I tell you what, that looks awful similar. But we got us a rookie numbered parallel. I'll take it. All right, moving right along. Guys, we do have a new release this week as well. Uh, Topps Chrome Anniversary Edition. Platinum Anniversary Edition, maybe, but... uh. That's going to be a fun set. One autograph per box. It's not cheap. But uh, they got a really, really nice autograph subject checklist. Ian Happ. Prism. So I look forward to that release this year. First year they're doing that set, actually. Bryce Harper. Down for... I don't know how long they said he's going to be down, but... I think he had thumb surgery today, man. Sucked. He went down like that. There he is, Mike Trout. And a Miguel Cabrera insert. Where's that Juan DeFranco? Got us another color. A lot of parallels, man. I like to see that. Glass now. Centillion. Alcantara. Otto Lopez. I pulled a lot of him this year, too. And a Ichiro. There we go. Nice Ichiro. What is that number out of? Looks like 149. I've always wanted to pull an Ichiro auto. I do not have one in my collection. All right. We're getting down to the last few packs. We should be starting to see an auto or something here very soon, I hope. Old Chuck Nasty. Nemo Ramuto, rookie card Jake Myers for the Astros. I guess that's another one of those uh, tri-colors. And then a Mike Piazza Moonshots. They've had that uh, insert there for quite a few years. Well, guys, unless they got multiple autos in these packs, looks like we're going to get shorted. Because I only got three packs left to open. And Panini is good about that. And where they get you is the own average. And nothing you can do about it. This sucks. I had to pull that box. Xander Bogarts. There's a Detmers. Done sent him back down. Jonathan India. Let's see. Hopefully we get two autos and missing one of the relics, but I doubt it. Yep, we probably going to get shorted a relic or an auto, y'all. TJ Frettle. Big old jumbo piece. That one there is not numbered. Cincinnati Reds. They do have some really nice looking all relics in this set as well. Yep, and I can show you, you know, on the box right here, that's where they get you. And if you try to get your money back or anything per box on average, <clears throat> got to read the fine print. They got us on this one. Mr. Babe Ruth, that's a nice looking card. Maybe that's the color wheel, but I don't think so. Numbers. Whit Merrifield, Jake Berger. All right, let's hope this is an auto. Lewin Diaz, so that is an auto. I don't know what that is right there. Piece of his, maybe a piece of his old uh, pants. Now when there's 58 of 99, so second year card, Lewin Diaz. We'll take it. 
nothing too crazy. All right, y'all, we're down to one pack. Let's hope this is an auto and they shorted us one of the relics. Come on, let's finish strong. Check that one out. In Fuego, O'Neill Cruz, that's a nice looking card. Only one of those I've seen in that pack, or that box. Mackenzie, Marcus Simeon. And let's see what we're going to finish with, y'all. Come on, focus. We're going to have a pitcher. No, that is O'Neill Cruz. Come on, let's get some ink on that. Let's get some ink. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. We got shorted one of our autos, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. 109 of 250. And that is one of the problems. It's ha It hadn't happened to me a lot. I've had it happen quite a few times, I should say, but as much as I've opened, it hadn't been really that much. But that is one of the bad things about Panini. And I can say, you know, you do get shorted some autos sometimes, but not the greatest box, but that is a look at Panini Select. I probably would buy another box. It is a really nice set. You can pull some nice stuff. Let me know what y'all hit, guys. Really curious to see what y'all think of this set. If you don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.